Hi guys. Hello. This is a different setting. Obviously, I am in my car. Um, not in my bedroom filming. This video is about being a Lyft driver. So here's the thing. There are pros and cons that I'm going to talk about. And then I'm going to talk about being a Lyft driver as a female. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll just get into this. This is probably the only video I do not have an outline for. Yes, I do write outlines for my videos. You go to an orientation. Um, they just talk to you and it's about being a Lyft driver, inspect your car, like what, what to expect about your rides. Uh, pros about being a Lyft driver. If you have a full-time job, I highly recommend becoming a Lyft driver. It's just, it's great, okay? It's great being a Lyft driver, like on the weekends after work, early mornings, it's super good money just gonna be really honest with you it's really good money you get commuters you get people going to the airport you also hit bonuses they have like peak hours during the commute time so that's really cool on the weekends you can make so much money you also get to talk to people you get to meet people being a Lyft driver I get to explore where I live I get to talk to people it helps me with my communication skills with passengers that I do like and also passengers who are a little bit more difficult Honestly, the majority of your passengers are going to be really cool, super dope, super cool, fun conversations. It's cool. You, I've, I've, made, I've made a lot of friends from Lyft. Cons about being a Lyft driver. The wear and tear on your car, the miles on your car, your taxes as a Lyft driver is a different video. It's a longer video. If you want me to do a video about taxes, just comment down below. This is the part where I spill some tea, the, the negative parts about being a Lyft driver. When you sign up, there is a bonus if you complete it within the first 30 days or something like that. I'm not really sure. I'm not educated on it because when I went to my Lyft orientation, um, the person didn't talk about a bonus. They just, they talked about the app and they talked about other stuff. So. I was not educated on that. I had no idea that there was a bonus. I've contacted the people at Lyft and they're like, oh, I should have said it on the app. It didn't. It didn't. I'm not sure if the videos I've seen on YouTube are just super outdated or Lyft is paying these people. I saw someone that said, oh, you can get your bonus after the time period. Just go to Lyft Hub and they will talk to them about it and you should be able to do it. This person has said oh yeah i got it i got it after the thing and so i was like oh you got it i should be able to get it too i you know talked to lyft and they were like oh sorry you didn't hit it within the mark so you don't get it what i had a passenger in the car and she was going to a, like a 10 minute ride she added a stop to the bank i was in the car for like at least 15 minutes she's like oh i'll be really quick i'm just going to the bank 15 minutes later, I'm like, shit, like, I have a, I have a scheduled Lyft ride, I have to go. So I had to, I ended the ride, canceled the ride. And Lyft did not pay me for it. I contacted them, okay, I called them. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, because you canceled, you're not getting paid. <laughs> I'm sorry, that doesn't sound very legal to me. So I didn't get paid for a Lyft ride. I had someone get in my car and they were reeking of cigarette smoke. Like, I'm talking... Like, it was so awkward. It was so awkward. I keep, like, air freshener in my car, but that's not gonna hide cigarette smoke. So my car smelled. I messaged Lyft. I was like, hey, I'm asthmatic. Other passengers are complaining about the smell. And they're like, oh my god, we're sorry. Here's $25. Well, you know, spend that on, like, cleaning stuff, whatever. Fast forward a month, I was um, in a downtown area, and this person also was like, hey, like, can I just quickly stop here at my apartment? We're literally passing it on, like, en route. We're passing this person's apartment. I'm like, <laughs> sure. It was a guy and a girl. I was chit-chatting with the girl, so I didn't care. And honestly, the longer the person is in your car, you get paid more. So I was like, we can make a stop. I don't care. I don't know if this guy went to his apartment. He said he was going to his car, but he was gone for 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes. And 
When he comes back, he gets in my car. Smells like someone was smoking a... It, he smelled like Puff Puff the Dragon, let me tell you. Yeah, it was... Our, uh, yeah. He, he must have not had it in a container because he got out and I rolled the windows down and aired it out on the freeway, sprayed my stuff. It still smells. So other people get in my car. Some people, you know aren't really fans of this weed smell or weed in general he left a smelly message lift and this is like a month after the whole smoking situation and they're like oh sorry nothing we can do for you and i was like but you guys reimbursed me for cigarette smell you're not going to reimburse me for this and they're like yeah we changed our cleaning policy i was like huh, well f doesn't that just hit you in the groin awesome there's like a lack of consistency mind you i don't know if he lift is paying people to say things good but i just want to be really honest because people are saying like oh you can get the bonus after the day no you can't i tried i'm not sure if it's because i'm a female and this guy was a male i'm not sure i'm not trying to i'm just saying like i'm just saying like i'm female i had more rides than him and i'm just saying I'm not trying to be super controversial here but he was a male and he got his bonus, but well, I'm a female and I didn't get my bonus, but he got it. I'm sure I'm just saying. Also, of course, if you're a female, you are going to have guys ask for your number. Even if you say no, they're still going to be pushy. I've had passengers say that they left something in my car just to get my phone number. And it's a, it's really annoying because you have to message them like, hey, they didn't. <laughs> Please don't think I'm a stealer. Like, I'm not. Uh, it's really annoying. You do have creepy passengers. You do have, oh, creepy passengers. So, yeah, I had a guy, um, I was driving. And from my little peripheral, I could see him throughout the ride staring. And he would kind of not just stare, it was glare. And I got the most negative vibe from it. Uh... <laughs> yeah it was creepy and five minutes left in the ride he goes oh my god your car smells so good and he leans over and sniffs me mind you we're on the freeway and i'm like he's leaning over and as he's leaning over i'm like and he literally he goes and i'm just like it was creepy it was creepy pros it's good money if you already have a full-time job and you just do it on the side it'll tell you when to drive it'll tell you when it should pop in and you get to meet people you get to improve your communication skills you get to see things you get to if you have a business you get to promote that well it's cool you meet this is this cool thanks for checking out the video comment down below any questions you might have um yeah i hope this helps that is the end of the video